When we're discussing characteristics of leaves, another important thing to look at is the margins of a leaf, the very outside edge. Whenever I'm discussing this with uh, young adults, I usually ask them what the margin is on anything, and they'll mention a margin on a page of paper. And that's what we're looking at here is the very outer edge. And on this particular species of tree, you will see that it is serrated. Basically, it has small leaves on it. I have another one that I'm going to bring up here right beside it and to show you the degree of serration that can be found in a leaf. These are two different species. Uh, you can see that this particular leaf is much smaller in size, but it has much more serration around it. The teeth are much smaller compared to this particular one right here. And what I'm going to do is uh, continue to show uh, margins and on this particular leaf that I'm bringing up now it has no serration on it whatsoever. Uh, this particular leaf all the way around the edges has no serration whatsoever. So when again when you're looking at trees to help identify them you're starting now to see that there's a number of different characteristics but the three that we've just looked at is uh, well degrees of serration and no serration whatsoever. We have lobes in these particular leaves. You can see right here on this leaf, we come out here to a point, we have an indentation which is a lobe, we come around and we have lobes all the way around this leaf. Some leaves have more lobes than others, some leaves have no lobes whatsoever. Let me grab another species right here. For the people in the state of Kentucky, you should recognize this particular leaf very, very quickly. It is our state tree. Uh, the yellow poplar is its common name. And it has a number of, well, it has uh, three lobes on it. One huge lobe right here to the side. There's actually an indentation at the top, which is referred to as a lobe. And then on the other side, there is another lobe. So this is a tree leaf that has lobes on it. Again, we're looking at the different sizes and different shapes that these trees have. We're looking at the margins of these leaves, and you'll find out that uh, they may have indentations of some sort. They may not have any indentations. Um, but on this particular uh, group of species, I want you to take a look at the tips that either exist or don't exist. And on this particular oak, you will notice that it has very small tips on, on the uh, margins of the leaf. Uh, this is uh, representative of the red oak group. Uh, there's a number of different species in the red oak group, but they all have this small tip on the end of the leaf. I'm going to throw up now another species, <clears throat> and you will notice on this one, it does have the lobes, the indentations, that we just uh, saw on the last leaf, but on the tips of this one, there is no identifiable tip. Again, we're looking for those small, finite characteristics will that will help us in the identification. And again, on this one, it, it has the indentations of the margin, but it does not have a tip on it. Uh, this is the member of the white oak family, and the white oak family does not have tips on the very ends of the uh, leaves. Thank you.